House Speaker Pelosi throwing a wrench into the infrastructure debate in the House. Uh, the Speaker put the vote on hold unless the Senate passes the reconciliation bill. Meanwhile, the Senate is hoping to reach a bipartisan deal later today. Here with more on the latest, New Jersey Congressman Josh Gottheimer, co-chair of the Problem Solver uh, Caucus, founder and co-chair of the SALT uh, Caucus. Congressman, it's, uh, it's good to, to have you on. What do you good really you, think? Jeff. What's going on behind the scenes? What, what is in the back of the speaker's mind, do you think, uh, on this? Is this, more, is this kind of a, a negotiating tactic, do you think? It will, we've heard that the two, deal, uh, the two bills are not linked. Still sounds like she thinks they are linked. I think at the end of the day, you know, and, and obviously we've got a big week here on infrastructure, uh, and this is the roads, bridges, rail, water part, the physical infrastructure. I think in the Senate we're going to get a deal agreed upon uh, early this week, as early as today. There's a couple issues, you know, still out there on mass transit and broadband and, and a couple other things. But we're basically there. Uh, I met with the senators last week, a bipartisan group, and as you mentioned, the Problem Solvers Caucus, the uh, bipartisan group of 58 of us in the House. We've been working very closely with our Senate colleagues. If we get that done, which I think we will, and I'm confident we will, um, I, I think we should get a standalone vote in the House. We should just, if we, there's no reason to hold that up. If you've got a good bipartisan infrastructure package, which the country desperately needs, so many of us are going to be pushing for that. Obviously, there's, uh, as, you, as you know well, there's a lot of back and forth here and uh, a lot of politics that go on. But the bottom line is, if we get this done in the Senate, uh, there's no reason we shouldn't get a vote in the House on this. Well, how, what, how would that happen? What, what would Speaker Pelosi say at that point, do you think? How would she, how would she, would that would not be losing face if she were to just totally flip-flop on something that she's uh, insisted on uh, up to this point? Well, you know, I'll leave it to the speaker to comment on that. I, I, I think that the first question will be, will the Senate send over a bill to the House, right? That's the first issue that has to happen. And, and I think you're going to look at a the largest uh, infrastructure investment since Eisenhower in the highways. This is a very big deal. And as I said, it covers everything from broadband to resiliency to the gateway tunnel between New York and New Jersey, right? This is critical. Um, so I, I think if that gets done, we'll pick it up in the House you know, it doesn't mean you can't vote on something else, as you know, right? It doesn't mean you can't have another piece of legislation after. But I think there's there's no reason, and many of us feel this way and have made our, our opinions uh, heard on this, that we should get a vote on this. And and uh, the Problem Solvers Caucus, including 29 Democrats, we came out about a week ago and said just that. Let's get a vote. If this gets done, as we've been working on this for months, let's vote on it in the House. And that would be a great win for the country and a good bipartisan win for the country. I don't, now I'm going to shift to you and whether you're serious about some of this. So it, it, that's what makes it so hard for, uh, for the average American to, to really understand what goes on. So you're talking about re repealing the salt cap, and you want to do that in reconciliation. You say without that, without doing that, there will, you won't vote on reconciliation. It, that sounds like, are you saying raise the cap or I want this, this, and this to give you my vote if this doesn't happen? Or what are you really saying uh, there? Because I well, – go ahead. No, it's a, no it's, a, it's a very good question. You know, what I – at first, just so everyone understands, right, we first look at this bipartisan package on infrastructure. Then there will likely be a second package on reconciliation, as you point out, which only requires a 50 vote plus the vice president in the Senate. On that package, um, which which we have not seen any specifics on, we, right, there's there's talk of a number of, of around three and a half trillion dollars that was proposed out of the Senate on the Budget Committee so far, with no details in terms of revenue raising or, frankly, all of how the dollars would be spent. And it's it's hard to comment fully on these things until you actually see the specifics. Although I'll, I'll tell you that three and a half trillion dollar number seems very aggressive to me. What I've said there is when we look at the revenue raisers. If, they're gonna, if there are changes to the tax code proposed, uh, if, there, if there are any changes, there has to be a full reinstatement of the state local tax deduction um, for me to consider the package. Again, there's lots of other questions I'm going to have about overall impact on my district. As you know, the taxes are too high here in northern New Jersey overall, so I want to look at the totality of impact on, on families, on small businesses, and then make a decision. But to get for, for me to even consider it, if there's changes to the tax code that affect families, you've got to reinstate the state and local tax deduction. I mean, given how expensive things are here, given 
where uh, where taxes are, you know, that's team and what the 2017 tax bill did to my district. That's table stakes for me. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.